Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Rob's Video Blog. Today, I'm going to be talking about minivans. Oh, minivans. There's my minivan. 2018 Honda Odyssey. Just got it a couple months ago. And let me tell you something. I have two kids, five and just turned three, and the minivan is the best thing since sliced bread. I don't know why it took us so long to get this minivan, uh, but the features that you get with it, the convenience that you get with it is unparalleled by anything else. So let me just run through it real quick for you here. So the first thing is sliding doors, power sliding doors, right? You can do it remotely. Boom. There it is. You got to pop kids in and out of the van. They just get in. You open the door. They can open the door themselves. They get in low step up. They hop in, boom, they get in their car seats, right? Look at all this space. Look at all this space. You got another seat that can go in here, removable. You got full third row back here. It's luxurious. It is absolutely luxurious. And even better, look at this, watch this. Boom, I can get in the van, no problem. Look at this, look at this, no problem. I can strap them in, it's not a problem. Super duper easy, right? There's a massive amount of space in this thing. Um, so loading and unloading kids is super duper easy. This one even has a great feature here. If I want to move the seats, look at this. Wham. Seats get squashed together. People go in the back. That simple. It locks in. Bam. Done. And that's exclusive to the Honda Odyssey, but super convenient. Again, loading people up, loading kids in and out. Unparalleled convenience. Want to close the door? Boom. Push the button. Walk away door closes. See you later. Getting in and out of the car has never been easier with kids. Even better when you're in parking lots and you're parked next to somebody, you don't have to worry about the kids being maniacs and flying the door open and whacking into the car next to you. No problem there, right? Storage space. The amount of storage in a minivan is obscene. I mean, it's absolutely out of control. I mean, look at this thing, right? Look at this. Look at this. I didn't even know that was back there. There's a bike in there for crying out loud. Look, there's a bike in there. And I can get in and stand in here too. Without issue. Look at this. Look, I am standing inside. I'm standing inside the minivan. Look at this. Look at all this space. It's insane the amount of space. And that's what the third row still in. That's what the third row still in. I took my whole family to go skiing a couple weekends ago. And we put all of our gear in just this back well. Look at how deep this is. It's because it's deep and it's super tall. All between, all in that back section. Didn't even need to put the third put third row down. But you need more space? Wham. You could put the third row forward like that. You could push it forward. Excuse me. Like that. It goes all the way down. I got crap in there. Or even better, you pull this. The whole thing folds right down into there. And you have a massive amount of space. A massive amount of space. It's, I mean, it's glorious. The amount of space that you get inside a minivan is unparalleled. It is not like an SUV. An SUV is a minivan wannabe trying to be cool. But let's be real. Let's be honest about things here, right? Does, let's see, who here has got a, does that thing really look that much cooler? Are you really looking at that thing going, oh, wow, that's, that's a really cool vehicle. Look at that. As opposed to this thing. Look, it's a minivan. It's not like the coolest thing in the world. But let's be honest. Being cool waved goodbye to us a long time ago when we got married and had kids. So who are we pretending to be? Who are we pretending to be? I mean, this is not a bad looking vehicle. It's not a bad looking vehicle. Right? This is not the minivan that, you know, this is not the, uh, the Astro van from the 1980s and 90s. I mean, let's look at this. Look at this, right? I mean, you get all the same features. Look at this, right? It's just like my car. You know, you touch it, the door opens. You get all the same features. Huge screen, heated seats, the seats that automatically move. You got all sorts of crazy stuff going on in here. Look at Look at all the space. You got all the same features. You got lane, de lane, you got lane departure assistance. You got, uh, you know, backup camera with the sensors, all that kind of stuff. Heated seats. I got, le I got we got leather here. Let's see here. We got leather. We got the EXL trim, so we got leather. I got these awesome uh, plastic floor mats that cover everything, so the kids make a huge mess. Just pull the floor mats out, away they go. But the minivan, the, the the amount of 
convenience that you get out of the minivan. And to be honest, this thing gets about as good, ga- gets better gas mileage than the Honda CRV and the Pilot. And it's bigger. And it's got more space. And it seats more people. Why would you buy that other car? Basically, the SUV is a minivan that's higher, has less your interior space. That's it. That's it. So basically, you're taking all the features of the minivan, the automatic sliding door that slides and doesn't swing open, the extra cargo space, the extra headroom. You're taking all that stuff and throwing it away, and that's what you get in a sport utility vehicle. Why? Why? Well, Rob, you know, my sport utility vehicle has uh, four-wheel drive. Guess what? You can get the minivans in four-wheel drive. So basically, any feature that you can get in a nice, fully-loaded sedan or SUV, you can get in a minivan. Except the difference is, you don't have to kill your back leaning over, trying to get the kids in and out of the car seat, trying to shove everything in the back. When we used to go, I had a, I had a Mazda CX-5. Now, a CX-5 is a small, uh, small little SUV crossover type thing. But even still, right? Just the four of us. When we go to visit my in-laws and go skiing, man, we had the trunk packed to the gills. We had bags on the floor there, bags in the front. It was, it was out of control. Like I said before, when we went to visit them... We just threw the stuff right now. Well, I still had the third row up. We could have taken three other people. We could have taken four other people. I could have put the middle. I could have put the middle seat in there. The middle seat is either a seat or folds down. It's got extra cup holders. We like being able to just walk straight up into the back. The kids got to take a whiz on on the ride. It's a two hour ride. We got a little portable toilet back there. Bam! They just go back there. My wife took the kids skiing the other day, and my daughter, who's three, oh my god, I gotta pee. You're like a mile and a half away from a toilet. Bam! Right in the car. Change the clothes. Anything. It's great. It is absolutely positively great. And like I said, you get all the same features. You get the nice leather trim, the heated seats, all the technology, all the automation that you get in a nice sedan you can get in this. So what I'm trying to say is if you have kids, if you plan on having kids, maybe you wait till you have the kids. But if you have kids, even if you got older kids, because like for me, getting in and out of the car seats, you know, getting in and out of the car seats and just the door opening automatically. And being able to just like half get in with them. Look at this. Right? I could just, I put uh, like Captain Morgan right in here, right? Boom. No problem. Plenty of space. Even if, even not that, even like if you just have teenage kids or something like that, or 10 year olds or eight year olds, whatever it is, and they're not in car seats, the amount of space that you got back there, you could be hauling around their friends. That was the thing. My wife the other day, um, she, uh, she takes care of the kids at home and uh, two kids around the street, my, uh, my kids play with. And this was before we had the minivan. And she said, oh, we took him to the park. I said, why don't you take the other kids to the park? We didn't have enough space in the car. Couldn't fit him in. Not enough space in the car. Not enough space in the SUV. Bam. Minivan solves the problem. Solves the problem. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Automatically locks because I walked away from it. Right? Really? What do you, what, I mean, look at this. That's what I'm saying. Like curve off the back a little bit right there. And you got an SUV. Right? The only difference is the minivan's a little bit lower to the ground, which gives you more headroom. It gives you more storage space. It handles really well, too. I'll tell you that. This is actually a lot safer than an SUV. SUVs have a tendency to lean because they're so high off the ground. This thing's a little bit lower to the ground. So when you take turns quicker or something like that, you don't get that kind of lean. So it's actually safer, safer for rollovers and stuff like that. So, I mean, it just checks so many boxes. It checks so many boxes. The fact that people aren't buying minivans left and right is purely a vanity play and that's fine just as long as you admit to yourself that your suv does not have more features does not handle better does not get better gas mileage is not easier to use is not more luxurious but you just don't want to have a minivan that's fine but just make sure that you understand that is really the only reason why you own a minivan why you own an suv versus a minivan Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you again next time.